Bank deposits have decreased by 5%. Think about that for just a moment. Senator Kennedy was blasting President Biden around their regulation of the banks. In 2019, they knew that Silicon Valley Bank, they got a report that they were not properly running their business. So let's think about this for just a moment. Bank deposits now went negative 5%. They usually grow by 5 to 10% per month. Credit Suisse just announced they had a massive outflow of deposits. Deposits are now moving to non-bank financial institutions like investment advisors. So in 2019, let's back up to 2012. In 2012, FDIC started the bail-in committee, preparing for bank bail-ins. But right now, Janet Yellen, Jerome Powell, and the head of the FDIC are creating new rules for non-bank financial institutions. So wait a minute, you're creating new rules for non-bank financial institutions, but as Senator Kennedy said, you're not enforcing the rules on the current banking and monetary system. So why do we need new rules if you haven't enforced the current rules on the banking system? In 2019, they knew that Silicon Valley Bank was in trouble. So instead of enforcing the rules, now that we sit, when bank deposits start to go negative, they do a reactive approach and they're trying to enforce rules on non-bank financial institutions like cryptocurrency, uh, asset managers, because people are pulling their deposits and saying, F the banks, I'm moving to non-traditional finance. So we're in this delicate balance right now as Biden pushes innovation out of America. As they're creating new rules and making up rules as we go along, instead of enforcing the current rules they had in place that could have protected the monetary system, so where does this put this, us as Americans? I think it's the greatest opportunity in human history. You're seeing a transition from industrial to technical, from Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. And this is the greatest time in human history. The more volatile, the more angry, the more resistance there becomes, the deeper the pullback and the cheaper these utility tokens will become. Now the key factor is to not make crypto your retirement. If you are emotionally attached to this market, you're going to get wrecked. As they push non-traditional bank finance out of America or try to regulate it, it's going to panic people. Guys, they can't push it out. They can't destroy it. It's systematically too big. But they'll make you think it's a fraud until they're ready to implement it. So stay calm. Stay non-emotional. Do not try to get rich quick. Understand how to become an intelligent investor. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go. If you need support, there is no get rich quick. Join my 120 day challenge to help you get your shit together with discipline, consistent activities. I love you guys. I'll see you on the inside.